were in Hobart. We just checked in our hotel and now we're getting ready for brunch. Ruby's driving. Hello. See you guys. So our first cafe we're checking out is called Born in Brunswick. It was one of the cafes that Ruby's friend recommended, so I hope it's good. So we ordered this cold brew with a coconut cream and it was actually so good. My first time trying it and I really enjoyed it. And then the other brunch dishes we got were like pretty good, but like a bit overpriced and not as good as Melbourne. So we're at the Botanical Gardens now and we've only been here for like less than half an hour and we probably already have like 500 photos. Yeah, 500 photos, not even yeah. exaggerating. But it's so pretty here, like um, the Japanese garden was really pretty. And now we're gonna look at some Arthur Garden. Arthur Garden and some Cactus Garden. Cactus. Next stop was Sparrow Museum. Okay, this place is so strange. I was not a fan at all. I feel like I didn't really understand lots of the artwork and yeah, it was a very interesting experience. Lots of kids around, which is surprising. If you've been there, you'll know what I mean. But um, the restaurant we went to was really nice. The surroundings were so beautiful. It was like right outside on top of the water. And um, I think I would probably just go back for that experience. They gave us this slow gin. It's really nice, not too strong. I like it. So next we rushed to the top of Mount Wellington to view the sunset and oh my god that sunset was one of the most beautiful things that I've ever experienced in my life. Like you guys definitely have to put this on your bucket list because you will 100% regret it if you don't. So we're on top of Mount Wellington at the moment um, and we just watched the sunset and it's amazing but it's so cold I'm literally wearing like a cough and a denim skirt and my hands are literally frozen <laughs> but the view guys look right let me check the temperature it is currently seven degrees seven degrees yeah Afterwards we went to this Mexican restaurant called Pancho Villa for dinner and it was pretty good. We ordered the mushroom tacos which was so bomb. Some corn on the cob and some pork neck I think and confit duck leg. They took a while to come out but it was still pretty good. Um, but I think the cocktails are definitely the coolest bit. And they had a really cool hidden bar kind of vibe in the back. Good morning. Good morning. Today we're on our way to Port Arthur. We're gonna check out the lavender farm and maybe the trail. We had a swim this morning in the pool. That was really nice. And we're stuck in traffic. Hey, so we made it to um, Port Arthur Lavender Farm. The lavenders aren't really in season right now, which is unfortunate, but they're still really nice. And the actual like, cafe area is so pretty as well. So we're just trying this lavender latte. Mm. You can definitely taste the lavender, like it's like sweeter than normal yeah. latte. Yeah. And this one's the lavender hot chocolate. Okay. That's very sweet. Yeah. But I can taste the lavender. Yeah. Good. I like it. Oh my god, this looks so good. I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> The combination of like scallop and bacon is really good. I used to hate loving the ice cream. Why? Because one time I had it in Japan and it tasted like soap. <laughs> I don't know. But this one's pretty good. Like, it's not too overpowering, right? Mm -mm. So this is like a lavender infused butter. Oh, is it? Yeah, could you taste it? Well, not really. Not really. It tastes good, but like, 
I wouldn't say it's like lavender. lavender. Mm. The sponge are very like fluffy, not too dense, mm. really light. Mm. Oh my god, guys, the lavender farm, the fields are so nice. Like, I thought they were out of season. Like, I literally said they were out of season in the other, in the previous video. But then, like, I don't know, this, this part is so nice and purple. Oh my god. So next up, we're at Port Arthur Historical Site. Um, the tickets are like $30 for concession, but I couldn't find my concession card. But luckily, she just like let us in, so that was very nice of her. This girl's so clumsy, she doesn't even bring her extra ID card. But like, it's not like a necessity, you know. <laughs> but next luxury. time, student cards are luxury. Next guys. time, I will so try. I remember. Remember. But yeah, here's the view. So we've just driven two and a half hours, or Ruby's just driven two and a half hours. We finally arrived at our second destination, which is Mole Creek. So on the way there, we passed by Richmond, which is a nice cute town in Tasmania. Um, we also went to Devil's Kitchen and oh my god, those sea views were beautiful. Everything was so blue and um, I felt like it wasn't even like real life. And we also hit our first animal on the way back, which was so scary, but um, it was just a small one, but you could definitely feel it as you drove past. But luckily, no one, well, none of us were hurt. Rest in peace to that little possum or whatever we killed. So that was our first two days in Tasmania. We got up to so many things and I can't wait for you guys to see the rest of our trip in part two.